Well, friends, here we are enjoying another exciting lecture in which the dog tells all. Now, in this lecture, we're going to examine what another statistical term which we will use to accompany the mean. And that term is the standard deviation. So this lecture is entitled Standard Deviation in a Nutshell. And let me get all of my little things operated here so I actually for once look like I know what I'm doing. Standard deviation. Deviation is difference from. If you're a deviant, you differ from average. Uh, deviation means to differ from the average. Now, the term standard means average deviation or the average distance from the mean. So if you'll remember that the standard deviation is the average distance from the mean, you should do well with this. And we're going to walk through the this beautiful presentation. Now consider this, this pretty little picture here, this little purple curve. And in the center of it, we have the mean. Now what this represents for us is the population mean, since it's the letter mu. The data which we have represented by this curve in this form indicate that the data are very close to the mean. And the further you go away from the mean, the less of them that you have. Now for purposes of our discussion, I have represented six datum points. Now notice datum is the singular of the phrase data. Data refers to many different datum points. We have six different datum points. These are our data. Now these little data, three of them in our situation lie below the mean, and three of them lay above the mean. Now of course the mean by definition would be in the center, since it is the average of all the data. So 50% of the data lie below the mean, and 50% of the data lie above the mean. Now, what I've done here with these little red symbols is represent for you distance. Each datum lies from the mean. You'll notice that this little datum point has this difference below the mean, this datum point has this distance above the mean. So what we in fact have are six distances. Now we must represent distance as positive. The standard deviation is going to be the sum of each of these differences divided by the number of them, and that's its most rudimentary form. Now, we will actually do some things to compensate in populations and samples to get that number so that it might not mislead us. But if you will notice, we have six different deviations from the mean, and these may be added up and averaged if they are considered as positive values. Now, the average of these distances is called the standard deviation. Now, there are symbols for standard deviation, just like there are symbols for populations. If mu represents the mean of the population, then sigma represents the standard deviation of the population, and s represents the standard deviation of the sample. So when you see sigma, you think standard deviation of the population, and when you see s, think standard deviation of the sample. These are very easy terms to come up with, and standard deviation is the average distance from the mean the average distance from the mean. Now, back years ago, before calculators, when square roots were very hard to calculate, they looked at these distances and they say, well, we said, well, we need to make these distances positive. Now, algebraically, you can take the uh, absolute value and that makes them positive, but that's very difficult to calculate. So what they did is they just squared these distances because any number squared is positive any real number squared is positive. So they work with what they call the variance. The, the standard deviation squared was called the variance, and sigma squared is the variance of the population, and s squared is the variance of the sample. So we now have two really neat terms. One of the things that you really need to be careful here about is the relationship of the standard deviation to the variance. Invariably on the test, you will be asked a question such as the variance is the square root of the standard deviation. And if that's asked you in a true-false format, that is false. The variance is the square of the standard deviation. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So you need to be sure you know those relationships. Also keep in mind as to why they used a square. 
They didn't have to take a square root when they looked at those deviances or those differences. All they had to do was just square them, and that made them positive. And then they could work with the variance instead of having to take a square root to use the standard deviation. And, of course, the cow said, moo, moo, moo. Moo being the mean. And, of course, the snake might say, sigma, sigma, sigma for the standard deviation. So we have a mean and a standard deviation. This is really cool stuff, friends. If, you, uh, if you'll just think here, you only have a couple of terms that you really need to know at this point. You have the mean, which is the numerical average, and you have the standard deviation, which is the average of the distance of each data point from the mean. Really cool. Hope you enjoyed it.